Christ became obedient unto death for all. Even death upon a cross, he was pierced for our sins, bruised for no fault but ours. His punishment has brought our peace, and by his wounds we are healed. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom, strength, honor, glory, and praise. Amen. Out of the depths have I called to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears consider well the voice of my supplication. If you, Lord, were to note what is done amiss, O Lord, who could stand? For there is forgiveness with you. Therefore you shall be feared. I wait for the Lord. My soul waits for the Lord. In whose word is my hope. My soul waits for the Lord more than watchmen for the morning. More than watchmen for the morning. O Israel, wait for the Lord, for with the Lord there is mercy. With the Lord there is plenty of redemption. Who shall redeem Israel from all their sins? A reading from the book of Job. A mortal born of woman, few of days and full of trouble, comes up like a flower and withers, flees like a shadow and does not last. Do you fix your eyes on such a one? Do you bring me into judgment with you? Who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean. No one can. Since their days are determined, and the number of their months is known to you, and you have appointed the bounds that they cannot pass, look away from them and desist, that they may enjoy like laborers their days. For there is hope for a tree. If it is cut down, that it will sprout again, and that its shoots will not cease. Though its root grows old in the earth, and its stump dies in the ground, yet at the scent of water it will bud and put forth branches like a young plant. But mortals die and are laid low. Humans expire, and where are they? As waters fail from a lake, and a river wastes away and dries up, so mortals lie down and do not rise again until the heavens are no more. They will not awake or be roused out of their sleep. Oh, that you would hide me in Sheol, that you would conceal me until your wrath is past, that you would anoint me a set time and remember me. If mortals die, will they live again? All the days of my service, I would wait until my release should come. He was afflicted. He submitted to be struck down and did not open his mouth. He, he was put to death for his people's transgression. He was cut off from the world of the living and assigned a grave with the wicked. He, he was put 
put to death for his people's transgressions. He was afflicted. He submitted to be struck down and did not open his mouth. He was put to death for his people's transgressions. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Therefore, while the promise of entering his rest is still open, let us take care that none of you should seem to have failed to reach it. For indeed, the good news came to us just as to them, but the message they heard did not benefit them because they were not united by faith with those who listened. For we who have believed enter that rest, just as God has said, as in my anger I swore, they shall not enter my rest. Though his works were finished at the foundation of the world. For in one place it speaks about the seventh day as follows, and God rested on the seventh day from all his works. And again, in this place it says, they shall not enter my rest. Since, therefore, it remains open for some to enter it, and those who formerly received the good news failed to enter because of disobedience, again sets a certain day today, saying, though David, uh, through David much later, in the words already quoted, today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your hearts. For if Joshua had given them rest, God would not speak later about another day. So then a Sabbath rest still remains for the people of God. For those who enter God's rest also cease from their labors, as God did from his. Let us therefore make every effort to enter that rest, so that no one may fall through such disobedience as theirs. Indeed, the word of God is living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing until it divides soul from spirit, joints from marrow. It is able to judge the thoughts and intentions of the heart, and before him no creature is hidden, but all are naked and laid bare to the eyes of the one to whom we must render an account. Since then, we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God. Let us hold fast to our confession. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but we have one who in every respect has been tested as we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore approach the throne of grace with boldness, so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. The chief priests and the Pharisees came in a body to Pilate and asked for the grave to be made secure. They sealed the stone and left the guard in charge. Pilate said, Go and make it as secure as you can. They sealed the stone and left the guard in charge. The chief priests and the Pharisees came in a body to Pilate and asked for the grave to be made secure. They 
sealed the stone and left the God in charge. From an ancient homily for Holy Saturday, on the Lord's descent into hell. What is happening? Today, there is a great silence over the earth, a great silence and stillness, a great silence because the king sleeps. The earth was in terror and was still because God slept in the flesh and raised up those who were sleeping from the ages. God has died in the flesh and the underworld has trembled. Truly, he goes to seek out our first parent like a lost sheep. He wishes to visit those who sit in darkness and in the shadow of death. He goes to free the prisoner Adam and his fellow prisoner Eve from their pains. He who is God and Adam's son. The Lord goes into them holding his victorious weapon, his cross. When Adam, the first created man, sees him, he strikes his breast in terror and calls out to all, My Lord be with you all. And Christ in reply says to Adam, And with your spirit. And grasping his hand, he raises him up, saying, Awake, O sleeper, and arise from the dead, and Christ shall give you light. I am your God, who for your sake became your son, who for you and your descendants now speak and command with authority those in prison, come forth, and those in darkness have light, and those who sleep rise. I command you, awake sleeper, I have not made you to be held a prisoner in the underworld, arise from the dead. I am the life of the dead. Arise, O mortal work of my hands. Arise, you who were fashioned in my image. Rise, let us go hence. For you in me and I in you, together we are one undivided person. Arise, let us go hence. The enemy brought you out of the land of paradise I will reinstate you, no longer in paradise, but on the throne of heaven. I denied you the tree of life, which was a figure, but now I myself am united to you, I who am life. I posted the cherubim to guard you as they would slaves. Now I make the cherubim worship you as they would God. The cherubim throne has been prepared. The bearers are ready and waiting. The bridal chamber is in order, the food is provided, the everlasting houses and rooms are in readiness, the treasures of good things have been opened, the kingdom of heaven has been prepared before the ages. adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. If we have died with him, we shall also live with him. If we hold firm, we shall also reign with him. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. I believe in God, the Father, Father Almighty, Creator, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, 
the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. In the midst of life we are in death, from whom can we seek help? From you alone, O Lord, who by our sins are justly angered. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and merciful Savior, deliver us not into the bitterness of eternal death. Lord, you know the secrets of our hearts. Shut not your ears to our prayers, but spare us, O Lord. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and merciful Savior, deliver us not into the bitterness of eternal death. O worthy and eternal judge, do not let the pains of death turn us away from you at our last hour. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and merciful Savior, deliver us not into the bitterness of eternal Let us pray. O God, creator of heaven and earth, as the crucified body of your dear Son was laid in the tomb and rested on this holy Sabbath, so may we await with him the coming of the third day and rise with him to newness of life, who now lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom power and glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.